Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a balance rack. I can't see a seven with it, but there could be some eights. However, if not, I should be able to score. I've got a couple of good scoring tiles in the F and the M. My preference would be to play the F because it is the least bingo-y. Just wondering if there is an 8. Nothing has come to mind yet. I'm wondering if I have a bingo with a, with a T. Wow, fantastic start for my opponent. 66 points and quite a few floaters to consider. And quite a significant moment to to miss a bingo. So, can't see anything with the L. How about the A? Doesn't look likely. Likewise with the I. I think the constants are going to be better for me. Not seeing anything with the C. How about the I? Well, consider that. How about the S? So I would have semi loof. That's not good. I've got the ISE ending. I've got the ism ending and the miss beginning. I would have loaferism through R and S and formalize. Okay, so this isn't looking great. I've got the sum ending. Fail some not good. Gosh, I hope I'm not overlooking something here. This could be absolutely crucial right from the get-go. F and M don't go particularly well together, but there could be some there could be a word with two four letter words put next to each other. Just not seeing anything. Just reconsidering the consonants on the board. The L leaves me cold. C's a scoring tile. And it's the S which looks the most likely, but I'm not seeing anything. So where to play my F? And I've got to try and stop looking for bingos now, I think. So, how about playing underneath layer size? So I could play foam for 20 points. It doesn't give too much away. Not very much goes underneath EA. Rack leave, not good though. Too many vowels. So can I do better? Burning up quite a bit of time on this opening move. And that's just the way things the way things go. If I do play something longer than foam, I'm opening up this triple word square. The trouble with keeping EIL is that the remaining floaters include an I and an L. So maybe play on this side. And what about playing oaf here? Lime holding on to the M. I think I'll do that. Okay, so slightly vowel preponderant. I would have melanized through the S, which I've blocked. So a couple more floaters to consider. The C and the K. I've got the like ending. Can't see anything with that. Can't see anything with the L. How about the C? I don't think melenic is good. Okay, so this isn't proving a good start to the game. Is there a, is there a seven here? Not that I can see. So the M is my scoring tile, which I held on to. Moi is good. So I've got something like lime. 
that's blocking the board up. So what I'd like to do is leave a rack leave. Probably the best rack leave I could leave would be line. So that would involve playing M A E. I can do that down here. I'm just wondering if this is giving away too much. 16 points, but I'm opening up two bingo lanes. And I think I need to keep the board wide open for as long as possible. Okay, I'm going with this. Not good. P and W go badly together. I don't think pin whaler is good. I think it's just pin whale. And that stops one square short of the double word square. Wow, another bingo for my opponent. I am in seriously serious difficulty. I'm 150 points behind. And coming back from that deficit is very hard. The only thing in my favour is still 62 tiles in the bag. Can't see anything through the A. What about the I? Nothing. So I need to get rid of the W. I could play Mu, but PLNR is a pretty poor set of four consonants. I'm likely to struggle with that next go. I'm thinking about playing wipe. I'd like to play off both scoring tiles because they're not particularly bingo-y. The trouble with wipe is that it's it's probably just provides too much easy scoring potential for my opponent. But it's certainly better than Mew. The other option would be to play through the A, but then I don't have a bingo there and it would be closing the board down. I think I'm going to keep the board open, but LNR is not a good and not a good keep. Just thinking about playing two. 16 points, but a decent rack leave. I think I'm going to do this. I'm so far behind, I think I need maximum volatility. Well, again, that has not worked out. In faller, not good. I do have a scoring tile in the F, so I could play something like Phil, keeping Ren. I do have the A and the I to, as, as available vowels, and it's good to have available vowels. I'm not going to make much use of this P, but hopefully that's a distraction for my opponent. Only 16 points for Phil. I can't even see any 8s with this rack. Okay, so I'm back. My opponent's played Tower for... 17 points. So I could play Lifer. Well, let me first of all consider the new floaters. Does the T assist? It doesn't. I've got filler on my rack. I don't think in filler is good. I'm going to check that. It's not. So Lifer and Filer. I'm going to play with Lifer because the L is more useful and I'm so far behind. So Lifer for 32. More horror. I 
I do have an N and a G to go with the I to make an ING word, but the rest, I don't have one. And another bingo for my opponent. This is not not hap not going well. So, 44 tiles to go. Both blanks have gone. What can I do here? I can play Ginny, but that's closing the board down. What do I have at the bottom? Well, I could play Nanny, but that doesn't get tripled. Nanny doesn't quite play underneath mutuals. Do I have a play with the Y under the under the blank? Don't think I do. Can't see anything down from the P. So 10 minutes on my clock. Maybe a play of just NY somewhere. Nothing which goes in front of double A. My L can go after it. I'm 180 points behind, which is three bingos pretty much just wondering if nang is good as a four out of play yes it is so how about doing this 28 points, decent score, not a disastrous rack leave, and it's taking out an obvious easy scoring spot for my opponent while still leaving bingo lanes open. I draw Q with the U, but I'm short of vowels to go with them. I've got the I available for QUI, but I think the best I can do is Quinn. I have Quain on my rack, Q-U-E-Y-N, which, well, it did play above layer size, it doesn't anymore. And both of these vowels have now been interfered with. Can't see anywhere else for Quain. Only my B goes in front of double A. I have Quell onto the L, keeping B N Y. I could well be going for the lowest score ever in this game. My opponent has blocked equably, which would have been a bingo -y score. I have Quay on my rack, which still does play. 23 points. Not seeing anything obviously better. I am going with this. Dreadful rack. How to sort it out. Still 32 tails in the bag, but they don't look particularly bingo-y. Both of the, the blanks have gone. All of the A's have gone. Still two S's to come. Vapors killed the top of the board. Apart from bingo's ending L or I. Quay hasn't done a great deal for keeping it open. 
I have no idea why this connection has been closed. It's saying, am I running an anagram program? I had the electronic alvary minimized, which I have now shut, which I shut down at the time. But I'm looking along the bottom and I can't see what it is I've got open. I don't think I've got anything open, which could resemble an anagram program. So I'm just not running anything. I haven't got Quackle open or Zizivar, which are the two ones which usually trigger a closure. So I don't quite know what to do about this. Let me reconnect. Great, we are back. Has my opponent played? Well, he has because my clock is, is running. He's played report. 27 seven tiles to come. So I do have the B for going next to double A. I think Daub is good. And that's quite good because it opens up Bingo Lane's ending with D and it's only turning over four tiles. LNR, not too many of those to come, so not as bad retaining these three as it otherwise would be. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. This game is certainly beyond me. I'm 180 points behind still. And I'm not going to bingo with this rack. But how to sort it out. Playing off the duplicates is, is the way to go. And probably one of the scoring types. So one of the consonants is something like Lin. And maybe play that here. There are still lanes on the board beginning with the G and in row M. So I think I'll go with this Lin for 13. Yeah, I was thinking about playing nil instead with the A front hook, but all the A's have gone. I'm going with this. Well, that looks half promising. I have Inherit. And wow, that does actually play in row M. Fantastic. Opponent could easily block that. That is the best or only seven letter bingo lane. And he doesn't. Superb. Let me see if I can get this down before my connection closes. Inherit 86. And quite a decent rack. But it's not going to be enough to recover from a 110 point deficit. I've got ED for reported. 33 points, just seven tiles in the bag. I don't think Hexost is good. So where, where can my X play? I don't think there is any anything huge for the X, maybe X and XI at the top right. And that's probably going to be better than reported. It's going to leave a bingo set of five tiles. Well, the opponent takes out one option. So X for 38. Is there another X what I'm missing? Don't think so. Well, I don't have a seven with this rack. I have hooved and hooved, I think. But really no lanes or very few lanes as column one beginning with the G, row J ending with the C. This B not particularly useful. Dell is good, so I could play Hod. But that may be more useful to my opponent than than to me.
Goodness knows what it thinks I'm I have open. I have nothing open. So opponent plays nut for eighteen. And there are no tiles in the bag. So and I can see what my opponent's got, and he's actually got a heap of junk. As in it's gonna be very difficult for him to go out in two. So I can probably plan an out in two with some decent count back which means I may be able to get the the margin of loss down to below a hundred which would be quite good I could play shovel but a vowel out in the open is going to be jolly useful for my opponent so I think that's probably best avoided Vita is good but I I can't get that to score twice So I could play O double O H. I was just looking at double O H E D, and I can't see anywhere for double O H E D. Four minutes on my clock. So I've got double O H, or I've got who. The M doesn't score, so I think either scores the same. But then, can I go out with devs? Not sure I can. A round inherit looks like the best part of the board to play. Well, I could play, I can guarantee going out in two with shove here, or even shoved. 18 points and then I've just got the O which can certainly go in two spots shoved gives nothing away Am I allowing an easy scoring spot for my opponent? Well, my opponent could play jizz But that still leaves Quite a lot of scoring tiles on his rack and it only scores space value. I'm going with this I think this game needs to be put out of its misery So where's the best place for my O? I've got Ho. Maybe if I'd retained the D, I would have had Odd and Ho as a higher score. And also Odd and Del, so probably a little too quick to play that D. Through an E, my opponent would have Jeezley. Great, opponent plays just the Z, maybe didn't spot Jizz. So what can I do with my O? Oh, three minutes on the clock, is Ho oh, the best? That would be for 10. Moor for six. O oh, good, not good. Kov, not good. Yeah, this is the, the best I can see. And the final score, 348 to me, 434 for my opponent, a winning margin of 86 points, so well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. So it was my opponent to go first. Fantastic start for, for him with layer size. And this was my rack. Great, well, I didn't miss a bingo. And I played at 0 for 17, keeping Lime. How does Lime compare to M? I ate Folia. Well, look at that. Folia sticks an A underneath this double letter square, so regardless how they compare, I think Lime is a better, Oaf is a better play, so I'm happy with my play. But out of interest, is Lime better than EM? I think they're probably, I think probably it is, but not by much. And my opponent's rack plays Dick. And my rack. 
Wow, there is a bingo here. That's painful. Cameline for 64, fairly high probability. Cameline, okay, that is painful. So what did I do instead? And Melina is a double-double. I played aim for 16, quite quite a bit in inferior. And it's just what my opponent needs to play a motion. Great, well I didn't miss a bingo here. And the score's fairly low. What did I do? I played toop for 16. Keeping line. So d5 in wrap, scores six more points. Is line six points better than EL? No, but I think it is better. So not too much between those plays. And I don't think the P is that dangerous in column 15. Opponent plays tower. J15, pilfer. Ah, pilfer down from the P. That would have been good. I'd have played that if I'd seen it. Instead, I played Lifer for 32, just four fewer points. Yeah, I'm using the same tile, so Pilfer slightly better. Great bingo by my opponent with Mutuals. Could have played pus Postulate at D7. On to TA. Now, at this point, I'm 180 points behind. I've only managed to score 80 points, and I've got this horror show. And I play Nang for 28, which I still like. Opponent plays Vape to close the board down, which was a good play. Cubite for 40. D10. Wow, onto the TE. That would have been nice. I didn't see that. And quite also available in the same spot. So I play Quay for 23, which is not as good. Opponent has a bingo. Grossert doesn't see it. Plays report. And wow, look at that. It would have played along the top of mutuals where I eventually get my bingo down. I play daub for 19. That looks fine. Opponent plays gi. I have a horrible rack. M7 lint. Killing the bingo lane. I didn't do that. What did, I, what did I do? I played Lin for 13. Only 8 fewer points than the top play. And it's keeping a bingo lane open. So I like my play. Opponent plays Bigo. And finally I have Inherit for 86. Opponent plays Reported. Gosh, Hoxes L1. Oh wow. Yep, very nice. 56 points. It would have emptied the bag. And I'm getting 18 fewer points, but with a decent rack leave. And there's quite a lot of junk to draw. So, I don't know. Because Hoxes would have provided access to this bottom left triple word square. And the rack leave after X of hosed is pretty flexible. Opponent plays nuts. Now, L3, Dosh. Okay, but keeping EVO, possible. Maybe I can play that in two spots, but I'm struggling to see it anywhere. But in any event, the game is lost. I play Shoved. Jizz was available for my opponent. He plays Zal. And I go out with Ho. So, absolutely brutal game. Opponent got off to a flying start with a bingo and zoomed to a 180 point lead when I had barely 80 points on the board. I also got chucked off the site three times for having an anagram program open and I still do not know what program that's referring to. So all pretty unpleasant, but unpleasant games happen. And I did, did manage to reduce the losing margin in the end to under a, a hundred points. So some small satisfaction in that. I hope you enjoyed watching that miserable game and I will see you next time.